I have 10, yes, I said 10 fabulously easy and fun DIYs to share with y'all today. They're all budget friendly, which you know is my specialty, and I hope you enjoy them. My name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. This first DIY is so easy, and there are a lot of variations that you can do. I have just a small styrofoam ball that you can sometimes get at Dollar Tree, and they also have them at Hobby Lobby. I have these paper flowers also from Hobby Lobby. My original thought was to cut down the wire stem, but leave enough so that it could go into the styrofoam ball and hold it in place. What I found was the wire stem was just too thin. It might have worked better if I'd left it a tad longer or maybe if I'd used hot glue or something, but the flowers didn't stay in the styrofoam ball, so on to plan B. This time I cut the stem right at the base of the flower and then I hot glued them on. This worked okay, but the paper flowers weren't that flexible, so I wasn't able to get them as close together as I wanted and I had some gaps. To fill those gaps, I took these beads that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing them into the empty spots. And the captain is, of course, hanging with his mama. This is a cute and simple project. And like I said, you could use all kinds of things to cover this styrofoam ball, whether it be all like artificial flowers or maybe some beads, lots of things to create this piece that I'm going to use on my tear tray as a filler. This Galentine's playlist includes myself and five of my DIY YouTube friends. I was really very excited to be a part of this. And in the description box below, you will find the link to the playlist, which I'll know I want you to check out as soon as you're done watching my video, as well as a link to the channels of DIY from house to home, Freckled Mom DIY, Teresa B DIY, Crafty Leany, and the Crafty Quinn. DIY number two is another super easy, there's not really a way to mess this up kind of craft. For this DIY, I took two heart shapes that I got from the Dollar Tree, and you, but you could use cardboard, foam board, or anything else that's like sturdy and cut out heart shapes. And you'll also need some yarn. I'm sure there are lots of ways to go about this. I was gonna use some hot glue to kind of keep the strands in place and try to be all neat about winding yarn around it and stuff. But I soon ditched that idea and went to town wrapping that yarn around the heart. I did use hot glue some to keep some of the strands in place, but I gave up on having a neat pattern to this project. I did the same with the white heart, and let me tell y'all, it is actually a little harder than you think because the heart is curved and the yarn kept sliding, but I got it done. And I really like how it turned out. Now you can make this project big or small and it will look super cute tucked into a tiered tray. My friend Sarah from Jujube DIY and I have a Facebook group and we want you to be a part of it. It's all about crafting on a budget and of course there's a link in the description box below. I love this next DIY. It's again super easy and can be modified so even little kids can do it. Take a heart shape the size of your choosing and trace two of them out with some felt, basically a front and back. And I happen to have some red and white felt on hand, so that's what I used. And I was going for a Valentine's theme. <laughs> so you're going to take some yarn and I chose a contrasting color and make a blanket stitch all the way around the heart. I chose a blanket stitch just because I think it looks cute, and but then you can use any kind of stitch. Just leave enough room at the end to be able to stuff it. I just used some pillow stuffing from a pillow we were going to throw out. And after you stuff it as full as you'd like, you'll just need to finish that blanket stitch up the rest of the way to close it up. And this is how it turned out. I think they look so sweet. And again, these are quick and easy to make and look great on a tear tray. And by the way, I kind of think the white one looks like one of those uncrustable sandwich things. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I like to dress up my photo clips for each season or holiday, or at least I try to. I noticed not too long ago that the photo clips in my living room had Easter bunnies on it. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all, that's embarrassing. Anyway, I am trying to get back on track with this type of project, and Valentine's was the perfect time to do it. As I mentioned, this is an easy peasy, 
uh, project and you can just take whatever size clothes pins you like. I prefer the smaller ones and you can leave it natural, stain, or paint it. And as you can see, I painted these white and then you take whatever embellishment you like and hot glue it on. Because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gluing on these little mini paper roses that I got from Hobby Lobby. Paper roses. Okay, do y'all know who sings that song? Leave me a comment below if you do. It's definitely an easy and simple project, but I think it adds a sweet touch to my photos that I have hanging up in my home. DIY number five, you will need a white sock, uh, a fun or cute sock, a mop head, and some sand. I got all of that from the Dollar Tree. I also have some stuffing from that old pillow I told y'all about and two clear elastic rubber bands. Can you guess what I'm gonna make? <laughs> Leave me a comment below if you do. I started off by filling the white sock with the sand and tied it off with one of those elastic bands. Next, I'm gluing on pieces of the mop head and I'm just putting them across the front of the sock kind of on the lower half. And if you haven't guessed, I'm making a gnome and the mop head strands will be the beard. I'm then gluing on a bit, um, I'm gonna put a bit of the stuffing into the top of the cute sock where the toe is, making it a little ball and securing it with the other elastic rubber band. And this is gonna make kind of like a furry ball for his cap. And so I made sure to put the heel of the sock to the back and just tucked it under as well so you can't see it. I'm adding some hot glue to the front where I want to put the nose and I'm using a large half round bead for that. I then separate the strands to add some fullness to the beard. And don't forget, I'd love it if you would hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I share something new. And here's how it turned out. And I think, well, I wish I had, it stood up more. I mean, he looks a little stubby, but it's, it's pretty cute. Also, note to sell, use two socks or a thicker sock because some of the sand is coming out. Hmm, you know, lesson learned. DIY number six is a stack of books and I'm actually making it double-sided. I sanded this just a bit to smooth out the rough spots and painted it with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen. I used my Cricut to cut out two decals. One says, you will forever be my always, and the other says, every day I love you more. I transferred them one to each side of this crate that I'm gonna be making to look like a stack of books. I am embellishing it with some heart uh, felt heart stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm using some distressing ink and some Waverly Wax in the color Antique to distress this and add some definition to the book stack. And this is how it turned out. So cute, I love it, and it's double-sided. You can easily make this totally with Dollar Tree products and you know how I love budget-friendly crafts. I saw this little riser at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was so cute. And I had found a, a heart-shaped piece of wood at Dollar Tree and I knew I had to recreate it. Then, y'all won't believe this, but Crafty Quinn, who's also on this playlist, made the same thing I had in mind. So I, was, I knew it was a good idea. So I painted the wood heart and the three beads with folk art in the color antique. And then all you have to do is hot glue the beads to the bottom. And that's it. I mean, you can't get any easier, and it's a super cute little heart-shaped riser. Now, the UI number seven is taking another one of those houses that I got for just over a dollar on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and I sanded down the front just a bit, and then I painted the sides, back, and bottom black. I also cut down this love paper that I got in the craft paper section of Hobby Lobby. I used a glue stick to attach the paper to the house. And I took this wood heart that I got from Hobby Lobby, drilled two holes in it, and used a paint pen to paint it red. Once it was dry, I used my finger sander to sand down the edges and get a clean edge. And my glue, I'm going to hot glue one edge of this twine and wrap it around the house about five times. And then I wrapped some blue painter's tape on the end of the twine so I could more easily thread it through the holes in the heart. I threaded it through, then hot glued that end to the back of the house. This is honestly one of my favorite pieces that I made for today's video. I love the sweet, simple look, and I think it goes perfect with my decor. I told y'all before that there are some good finds in the his and hers section at Hobby Lobby. It's on sale 50% off every other week. And that's where I found these wood hearts for 50% off $9.99, so for about five bucks. For DIY number nine, 
I am taking 10 of the hearts in this Buffalo check craft paper that I got at Hobby Lobby as well. I traced out the hearts and then cut out the shapes and then glued the paper onto the hearts. And I like to paint my craft beads on skewers and normally I spray paint them, but for today's project, I'm just using some red and black craft paint and a sponge brush. Marvin is once again helping me. He's drilling pilot holes into the hearts and then he's gonna drill the real hole. Right, babe? That's right. Thank you. Using my Dewalt drill bit. <laughs> not sponsored, not an ad. Yay! I think I went too far on that. All you have left to do is string them up. And I opted for two red beads in between each of the hearts with three black beads on each end. Y'all, this turned out so stinking cute. I really love it. I have it hanging on my vent hood in my kitchen and it adds just the right touch. This is it, DIY number 10 and possibly my favorite of today's projects. I did for today's video. I actually have done one of these before for Halloween and I know that Target has similar gumball machines in the dollar spot, if you can find them that is. So you just take a terracotta planner and I got mine at Hobby Lobby for $1.37 and spray painted the color of your choice. And then you take a small glass fishbowl from the Dollar Tree, remove the sticker, and then you're gonna use E6000 to attach it to the bottom of the terracotta planter. You're also gonna need a terracotta dish the size of the little planter you bought or, and they sell them at Hobby Lobby, and um, like a little bead to put on top, or you can find this little glass container that they had at Dollar Tree. The lid is in the upper right corner and that's a great shape as well. So then you just fill it with the candy of your choice. I mean, how easy is that? And this is my favorite. The one I'm showing you, I actually painted gray to go better with my decor. The heart on the front is just a sticker. You can easily switch it out for the seasons and holidays. I, I just love it. I just think it's so cute. Anyway, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today as I crafted. I really appreciated the company and I hope you enjoyed the DIYs that I made. Please let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!